Bengali the elephant calf fighting for her life back in 2019. Vets at Chester Zoo diagnosed the young elephant with a dangerous viral infection. It's called elephant endotheliotrophic herpes virus. It's often lethal, and zoo vets and scientists have been battling it for more than a decade. It's an elephant herpes virus. Uh, they have uh, lesions in the mouth, uh, they'll get a fever, lethargy. But once we see those symptoms normally, it's too late. Uh, we've generally lost calves within 24 hours. Wow, that quickly? Yep, yeah, that quickly. We've lost uh, a number of calves, um, generally between the, the age of 18 months and two years. The last two that we lost in 2018, uh, we actually lost them within the same 24 hour period. It's, it's tough. Nandita was just three years old. And IU was only 18 months old when the two youngsters tested positive for the virus. They received treatment, including blood transfusions, but sadly, they didn't survive. And up to 85% of elephants that develop the disease die from it. Elephant two, setting up to move Angbo from the bull out to training pen one. Now though, there's a new glimmer of scientific hope. The elephants here at Chester Zoo are involved in a first ever trial of an experimental and potentially life-saving oh. vaccine. Just coming up, mister. Good luck. Hey, handsome. Nice and steady. It's research that's only possible because these elephants are so willing to work with their keepers. Ong Bo here is five tons. He'll cooperate if he feels like it. So it's a lot of positive reinforcement from the keepers, but it's also mutual respect. Ang Bo target. Good boy. Steady. Good boy. The new vaccine, researchers say, is designed to prime the elephant's immune systems. We're trying to prevent uh, death and severe disease. So the idea underlying our vaccine is that the elephant's immune system already knows about this uh, virus and can then make sure that it overcomes the in infection by itself. Come on, Bo. Good lad. Up you come, mate. Just going to, to get him present in the ear, find a nice ear vein and, and get a blood sample. If he'll agree, agree to having a blood sample taken? If he agrees. Sometimes he can be a bit playful. <laughs> the trials are just about to begin, and researchers hope to have an effective vaccine within five years. But by cooperating with regular health checks and blood tests, the elephants here have already enabled vets to diagnose the virus much earlier, and that has saved lives. Including the life of little Indali, who's thriving after her brush with the virus three years ago. She turned five just before Christmas. And yeah, she's our, she's our wonder baby. Conservationists ultimately hope to roll out a vaccine worldwide, including in wild Asian elephants. What would a vaccine mean? A vaccine would give us that reassurance that we could give our calf, you know, when they're young, that fighting chance, and they are an endangered species. Any way that we can support them would be fantastic. Meanwhile, the veterinary research here has meant that the zoo has its first elephant calf to survive this deadly virus in more than a decade. And that is a reason to celebrate. Victoria Gill, BBC News, Chester Zoo.